Unit 1, Subunit 1, Part 1, Article, Properties of Substances. Everything in the universe is made of matter. What exactly is matter? In science, matter is defined as anything that has mass and takes up space in the universe. The amount of space something takes up is called volume. A person has both mass and volume, so you are made of matter. A rock, an animal, a table, salt, air, and a piece of paper are all made of matter. All the substances in the universe are made of matter. If a substance is made of one type of atom, molecule, or extended structure, it's called a pure substance. Iron, sugar, table salt, and oxygen are all examples of pure substances. If a substance is made up of two or more pure substances, it's called a mixture. If you mix table salt and sugar in a bowl, you would have a sugar and salt mixture. If you added table salt to a container of pure water, you would have salt and water mixture. It can sometimes be difficult to tell if two samples of matter are the same or different substances. For example, baking flour, a mixture, looks similar to baking soda, a pure substance. Table salt, a pure substance, and sugar, a pure substance, both look very similar. Imagine if a person adds sugar to a cup of tea to make a tea and sugar mixture. Another person adds salt to a cup of tea to make a tea and salt mixture. If you didn't observe how these mixtures were made, how would you know which one you would want to drink? In other words, how could you tell that the substance in one of the cups is different than the substance in the other cup, even though they both look the same? To figure out whether or not two substances are the same or different, we need to explore the properties of substances. A property is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed or measured. Some properties can help us tell whether or not one substance is the same or different than another. For example, you can observe the color or odor, smell, of different substances. The table that follows shows some properties of substances that can help you determine if two substances are the same or different. Properties that depend on the type of substance. Color. We can sometimes tell one substance is different than another by observing the color of each substance. Odor. Sometimes odor, smell, can be used to tell if one substance is different than another. Garlic, for example, has a characteristic odor that you might recognize. Melting point temperature. This is the temperature at which a substance changes from a solid to a liquid. Different substances have different melting point temperatures. Boiling point temperature. This is the temperature at which a substance changes from a liquid to a gas. Different substances have different boiling point temperatures. Density. This is the ratio of the amount of, a ma of mass of a substance to its volume. A solid that is less dense than a liquid will float in that liquid. A solid that is denser than a liquid will sink in that liquid. At the same temperature, if you have different substances, each substance would have a unique value of density. So density is a property that can be used to tell if one substance is different than another. Some properties can tell us how much of a substance we have, but they are not helpful if we want to know if substances are the same or different. Imagine that someone said, this sample contains 50 liters and this other sample contains 10 liters. You might respond by saying, 50 liters of what? 10 liters of what? You can't tell from just the volume if the substances are the same or different. 
properties that depend only on the amount of substance. Mass. This is the amount of matter in a substance. One way to measure mass is to use a balance or scale. All substances have mass, so mass alone can't be used to tell if one substance is the same or different than another. Volume. This is the amount of space that matter takes up. One way to measure volume is to use a graduated cylinder. All substances have volume, so volume alone can't be used to tell if one substance is the same or different than another. Comparing substances. Sometimes substances appear to be the same, but when we investigate their properties, we discover that they are different. Sometimes substances appear to be different, but when we investigate their properties, we discover they are the same. The table that follows compares properties of water when this substance is at room temperature, about 22 degrees Celsius, and when this substance is, is at a lower temperature, 0 degrees Celsius or below. Although they may look different, liquid water and solid water are the same substance. Comparing water at different temperatures. Water at room temperature, about 22 degrees Celsius. Phase, liquid. Color, no color. Melting point, 0 degrees Celsius. Boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius. Water at a lower temperature, 0 degrees Celsius or below. Phase, solid. Color, no color. Melting point, 0 degrees Celsius. Boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius. Stop and check. What properties from the table support the claim that water at 22 degrees Celsius is the same substance as water that is at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius or below? The next table compares some of the properties of water and copper. In the table, both the water and copper are at room temperature, about 22 degrees Celsius. These are two different substances, each with very different properties. Comparing water and copper at room temperature. Water at room temperature, about 22 degrees Celsius. Phase, liquid. Color, no color. Melting point, 0 degrees Celsius. Boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius. Copper at room temperature, about 22 degrees Celsius. Phase, solid. Color, orange-red. Melting point, 1,085 degrees Celsius. Boiling point, 2,562 degrees Celsius. Stop and check. In the table above, what properties help you to tell what water, that water and copper at room temperature, are different substances. Reflection questions. In the Engage lesson, you observe six mystery substances. Review your data table from that lesson. Do you think any of the mystery substances are the same as another mystery substance? What properties support your claim? Do you think any of the mystery substances are different than the other mystery substances? What properties support your claim? Part 2 article, Physical Changes and Chemical Reactions. Substances can change in different ways. Sometimes a change to a substance is a physical change. Sometimes a change to a substance is a chemical change. When a chemical change occurs, we say that a chemical reaction has occurred. Section 1, Physical Changes. Physical changes are a change to the form or shape of a substance that does not change its identity. In other words, when a physical change occurs, you have the same substance before and after the change. It may appear different after the change, but it is still the same substance. When liquid water changes into solid water, this is a physical change. The substance before cha the change is the same as the substance after the change. If you were to take an ice cube and crush it into small pieces, 
This is also an example of a physical change. The small pieces of ice are the same substance as the large piece of ice. Other examples of physical changes include wax melting and an ice cube melting. When you rip up a piece of paper, the size has changed, but it still has the properties that identify it as paper. Combining substances. Physical change. Sometimes when you combine two or more substances, a mixture is created. In a mixture, the substances combine physically but they do not change into new substances. No chemical reaction occurs. For example, when you combine cinnamon and sugar, the color of the mixture appears different, but the sugar is still sugar and cinnamon is still cinnamon. The melting and boiling point of each individual substance will still be the same. It would be difficult, but you could separate the sugar from the cinnamon again. We would simply call the combination of the two substances a cinnamon and sugar mixture. When you combine cinnamon and white sugar, the result is a light brown mixture of both powders. Section 2. Chemical Reactions In a chemical change or chemical reaction, the substances before the change are different than the substances after the change. A cha chemical reaction can happen when you combine substances. A chemical reaction can also happen when one substance breaks apart into a new substance or substances. When chemical changes occur, there are sometimes signs that you can observe. For example, there may be changes in color or temperature. Sometimes bubbles form or light is produced. Sometimes it is not possible to tell when a chemical reaction has occurred, and sometimes a physical change might seem like a chemical reaction. Combining Substances Chemical Reactions When substances are combined and a new substance or substances are formed, a chemical reaction has occurred. You can tell that a new substance has formed by comparing the properties of the substances before and after the change. If the properties that can identify the substances are significantly different after the change, then a new substance or substances has probably formed. Chemical reactions and temperature change. One sign of a chemical reaction is a change in temperature. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy in the particles of a substance. Changes in energy can be a sign of a chemical reaction. Chemical reactions that release energy can feel warm or even hot as they result in a temperature increase. However, chemical reactions that absorb energy tend to feel cool or cold as they result in a temperature decrease. Everyday chemical reactions. Digestion. Many everyday situations involve chemical reactions. Chemical reactions don't just happen in science classes and laboratories. Digestion is a series of chemical reactions that happen in our bodies after we eat or drink something. As we chew our food, substances are released into our mouth. These substances react with food to break it down and create new, smaller substances. These substances travel through the body and are broken down further by chemical reactions that happen in the stomach and small intestine. Stop and check. How does a chemical change differ from a physical change? How can you tell if a chemical reaction has occurred? Reflection questions. In the activities in the Engage and Explore lessons, when substances were combined, you saw examples of both physical changes and chemical reactions. Review your data tables from these lessons. In your science notebook, create a graphic organizer like the one shown to analyze the data you collected. In column 2, make a claim about whether a chemical change or chemical reaction occurred when substances were combined. In column 3, describe the evidence for your claim in column 2. The combinations were from the Engage Copper 2 Chloride Solution and Aluminum Foil from the Explore Combination 1, Alka-Seltzer Tablet, and Water, 
Explore combination two, sugar and water. Explore combination three, sand, rocks, and water. Explore combination four, calcium chloride, baking soda, and water. Explore combination five, baking soda and vinegar. Review the combinations that you labeled as physical changes. What did you notice about these combinations? What was similar about them? What was different? Review the combinations that you labeled as chemical reactions. What did you notice about these combinations? What was similar about them? What was different?